this weight out, out there in a little holding area um, near the entrance and eventually they, they call your number to to get ready. Get ready, you're up next. Okay. So this would be your time to do your, your buffs and stuff. Yeah. Right. Shield. AC 24. Sir Andalen will uh, go ahead and psychically empower his blade. And you see, uh, Andalen has a new icon as well, so I just wanted to mention that to you guys. Since you're in Season 2 of Rifts, if you guys want a new costume, you know, now would be a good time. Like Dante okay. did. But you don't have to. So this, it's up to you. And this is at night, correct? Yes, this is at night. Okay. Oh, in that case, I'll put on my uh, fancy mind shield helmet that lets me see in the dark. I think I had one of those. Oh, wait, no, I... No, there it is. Yeah, night vision. The, the arena is illuminated. It's not dark. There are lights and stuff. There's power from the... Uh, yeah, but it's not sunlight. That's Lords of Rust base. Yeah, it's night. not sunlight, but it's illuminated, yes. It is happening at night. Oh, well. It'll still give me a plus five equipment bonus versus psionics. That is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I will do uh, oh, just a strong one. Just give life that to Funky. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay. I have to do it the old fashioned way. So. So the best four eyes could do is try to affect anybody that came near him. So when you walk out, you see him in the bleachers. There, he uh, got a seat near you guys. Maybe stick to that side of the arena. <laughs> don't make it. Don't people against I'll the wall. Put him up here. Here he is. He's like, hey, Ghostbusters. I mean, I've never seen you guys before. Go. <laughs> Go, guys. I've never seen before. This is my first time seeing them, but they look cool. <laughs> <laughs> then as we, let me know when we're walking out. Okay, so you're walking out now, and they're dragging the remnants of the robots out, and they say, up next, stepping into the arena of death, the, the scrap wall famous internationally known Ghostbusters you hear over the uh, the announcer's microphone and the crowd goes boo boo <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like they did Elon Musk recently <laughs> <laughs> just like that boo <laughs> and and sir and Dalen says they're not saying boo they're saying booers They say so, what? Boo urns. <laughs> oh, boo urns. <laughs> so, so as you walk out, you see um, the warrior woman seated on the, the makeshift throne. Um, okay. You don't actually see the rest of the gangs of Rust at this time. Um, so she is out there, and the the guy using the microphone is actually the dude standing next to the throne there. Okay. Now up for initiation into the Lords of Rust, the Ghostbusters. But first, who is the opponent? And he turns and he looks at the warrior woman. And the crowd's yelling, Woo, hoo, hoo. And the warrior woman stands up and she raises her arm and she puts her thumb down. Aha! And the 
announcer puts the microphone back to his mouth and he says, Ah, a twist! The Fist of Hellion has decided to accept the challenge herself! And as he says that, uh, the warrior woman stomps on the stage and the doors beneath the stage, the, the doors beneath the stage open up and reveal in the structure below her ferocious mechanical mount. <laughs> and it comes roaring out from beneath the stage. And she steps forward and and somersaults into the into the uh, into the seat. Can I roll engineering? And you may Most roll initiative. initiative. Yes, you can. You call that. So I'll let you roll it first. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> can we click on that character? You got to move us first. You got to move us first. Oh, you can't move? Okay. Yeah. You know how it goes. You didn't keep on your character. You can't. It is popping in. Let's see. I don't know why Nicodemus always does that. It's got to be something set that I'm just not. Can you move him now? Yeah, I can move him now. I can click on him too now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Both fifteen. Fifteen. Gotcha. Dante, you got, did you have an eight? Is that right? Yep. Okay. Very good. I got 25 from my knowledge. Oh, okay. Good roll. You rolled what? Knowledge engineering? Okay. Mm hmm. Very good. Okay, so you. You definitely recognize her mount as a mech of some sort. Okay, and it's actually a little bit... It's a little bit bigger than it appears there as it steps out from beneath the stage. And you see she's riding on it and she lifts up a, a giant gun. Which you know is a rail gun. Um, so looking at this thing, uh, the way it moves, it looks like she's definitely not controlling it. So you know that it is sentient. It seems to have some sort of artificial intelligence. Um, you can guess by like the antennae extending from it. Let me show you guys the bigger picture as I talk about it here. There you go. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Um, from the antennae extending from it that it probably has a sensor system and also uh, a targeting array as well. Uh, you see a few um, weapons hidden in the various joints. Um, like there's a, a mounted uh, plasma cannon to the side. Um, so you know that that is uh, quite dangerous. Um, it also has an auto laser attached to it. Um, very much like the one you got, except it's internally built. Uh, very much like the one you guys have mounted on the fab. Um, you rolled well enough. You you identified uh, a lot of the basic uh, functions of it. Um, it also has uh, sharp claws uh, up front, which you can you, which you can tell seem to be fairly powerful and uh, will be quite damaging. And as well, it can bite. Um, from the mouth, it's filled with uh, metallic fangs. Um, appears to have a, a nuclear power core, and could possibly have uh, other internal systems. But you'd have to examine it closer to uh, realize such a thing. But so it seems to be uh, very powerful. But it is a 
essentially like a lion shaped kind of mech big robot looking mech that she's riding on and it makes this sound when it stomps through the arena <laughs> with its heavy footfalls <laughs> Um, I'll give you one question if you got uh, if you have any other specific questions about it. How do you kill it? How do you kill it? Uh, well, you have to damage it enough to get through its armor. Um, so it's going to have a it's going to have an internal hardness that will reduce attacks. You know, much like your body armors. Um, so you just have to damage it, get through the armor. So anything that you have that would bypass hardness. To damage it, you need to do that. Because you're going to be dealing with hardness on the mount. Not damage resistance. As you might be familiar with. Um, and also, now that you get a closer look, you think that maybe the warrior woman is not human or even living at all, but might be some sort of construct. You already did planes, but uh, but Bella thinks she might be a construct. That's not that's engineering. That's a construct. Oh, roll so on can it. I roll on that too? No, I took your roll on it. Uh, I I used oh, that roll. Okay. That, that roll you had. Twenty-two. Oh, gotcha. Um, okay. That's how you. That's how you made that. Recognize that. So yeah. So now that you see her there, you can tell she's uh, she's carrying a. A big rail gun, you know, those are damaging. Have very long range on them. Um, the gun itself seems to have a vibro blade attachment beneath it. Um, she seems to be quite adept at um, riding her mount. So, in terms of classes for Pathfinder, she would be a Cavalier. Um, and if she's an android of some sort, that would mean she has dark vision, low light vision. Would be immune to most, uh, you know, have standard um, Android immunities, disease, emotion, exhaustion, fatigue, fear, sleep, um, resistant to uh, some energies. Uh, definitely appears to be a mega damage construct, so uh, she will have damage resistance against all attacks. And... Yeah, I'll give you uh, I'll give you one question on the warrior woman herself. If you got any, if you have any other additional questions on her, I'll just give you one that you can ask. How do you kill her? How do you kill her? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not ex always exactly. But if you mean what vulnerabilities does she have, um, she doesn't okay. necessarily have any vulnerabilities. I mean, yeah, yeah um, just a lot of immunities so you know nothing like poisons or stun or anything like that would affect them which is good to know ahead of time at least you know so i moved to mm -hmm. Ellie. we don't necessarily need magic weapons for her though do we that's why i ask her mm -hmm. yeah you would you would just like would. to bypass mm -hmm. damage yeah okay and with the mech you're just gonna have to chip away at it for 